Alright, so today we're hoping to accomplish getting the well pump all the way down the well and maybe some wiring. But first, we want to show you some stuff we did off camera. Okay, so the work that um, Keegan and I did, Keegan, the man behind the camera <laughs> there, um, was uh, we, got, we got extra rope because it only came with 100 feet and that's not enough to go all the way down and all the way out and tie this off. So this rope is a nylon type of rope. Um, we wanted to permanently connect this to the pump here, so we had some uh, steel uh, cordage type type of stuff. Um, what, what do you call it? Cable. Cable. So you can see it's cable, steel cable that's all wrapped. So the knot we used is a round turn of two half hitches to bind the rope to the cable. We also did a little knot on the steel cable the best we could. Couldn't do a really good knot, but we did a knot. And then we pinched that knot with two copper wires and spun them on there and pinched it really good. So that's going to hold. So that's how we secured the rope to the well pump. And what we do there with the electrical scooter? We use some button connector connectors here with heat, heat shrink wrapping. And, <clears throat> and then we put some electrical tape just to help keep everything together and keep it from snagging. Yeah. Um, and don't worry guys, we're going to do the butt end connectors with heat shrink again. So you'll get to see that process when we do it again. We have to do it at the top of the well. And uh, so we'll show you that process then. Such a pleasure to harvest some of our own foods, huh, honey? It is. <laughs> Have you been getting better and better at milking? I think so. Has it gotten easier for you? I think so. Can you now pretty much stay the whole time? Yeah. Remember, just a few months ago you had to take breaks a bunch and let mommy milk for you. Doing great. All right, Josh, are you ready to rock and roll? Yep. All right, you guys, so for binding the two ropes together, we're going to try the hunter's bend and see how that goes. What do you think, Scooter? I think it'll hopefully work. <laughs> if Keegan can get it right, we'll see here. One of the big reasons why we're trying this um, knot, you guys, is because <clears throat> the diameter of the ropes are significantly different. That yellow rope is way skinnier than the white rope. So, this knot might work good because of that. Looks like a knotty mess there. It does. All right, Keegan, so you got it fingered out? I think so. So here we go. You have your two working ends of rope going opposite directions, parallel to one another. Put one loop. And then your working end back through the back. The other end to the front. And then tighten them. Work them tight. That should be the hunter's bend. It'll it'll hold a lot of weight, but it also will come untied relatively easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, since this well was dug, we've never taken this cap off. Um, he put this on there just to cover it and to keep it safe from children throwing stuff down there. So let's take this thing off and see what we see here, which is going to be a black hole. That's what we're going to see. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting Teflon on all of our connections. All of our joints, I should say. Okay, you guys, we got the pipe onto the well pump. Now we just need to tighten this on there. This end here was a barb end like this. 
So it's made for just the pipe to slide over and then you hose clamp it on to secure it. And we were able to just to force it on without heating it up, heating up this pipe at all. That's a method a lot of people use is they heat the pipe up with a torch or something, then slide it on, let it cool, and then hose clamp it. But we were able just to force it on with a lot of force. <laughs> so that worked. It's on, I'm gonna tighten this, and we're ready to put this thing down, aren't we, after that? Yep. Yeah, moving along. Here we go, dropping the well pump. So what we're doing is we're gonna go 100 feet down. Now static level, where water, where we hit water in this well, was 76. Uh, manufacturer says that they want this pump 20 to 30 feet below static level. So we're gonna go 24-ish feet. All right, let's see if we can get this on there. Come up a little further, in both hands. Don't let that go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a bummer. Just hear it echoing down. Yeah, the water table thing. All right, so we lowered everything down, and we have the rope attached to this metal pipe here. It's not supporting a whole lot of weight right now, but it's pretty close to where it's supporting pretty much all the weight, so the weight is distributed between the pipe and the rope. And next we're going to be working on the electrical. What do you think, Critter? It's cold. Hi, Biddle. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, this wiring is um, direct burial. Um, and it is 12, 12 gauge, um, or 12 op. I want to say it. A direct burial, so it's a little more difficult to work with when you need to strip it. Because this outer cabling is like, it's solid. So it's really hard to get to. So what I figured out is if you, if you cut it down the middle with your knife, then you can peel it like a banana and get at these, then strip them back here. So we'll see how that goes. So what I do first is just kind of scratch it all the way around, not squeezing hard, squeezing lightly, and then also lightly, not doing a full pinch, see that, I'm not doing a full pinch, just enough to grab it, so that you don't strip, cut into this outer layer here, you want this outer layer to stay totally sealed. Okay you guys, this is how these go, the wire just feeds into here, and feeds into there, and then you heat these up until they shrink onto there and pinch and actually there's a little bit there's a little bit of goop that comes out the end once you have it heated up properly um, but once you put these in there then you crimp them we'll show these crimpers scooter you use those crimpers and it pinches the metal inside there and pinches that metal onto the wire so that's how these are done. So not only does it pinch it and hold it in place, when you heat this up and melt it a little bit, it shrinks onto there and creates a water seal, a watertight seal on your wire connectors. Hey, how much you got going on there? Uh, peppermint. Peppermint was getting out of control tall, so harvested some for drying for tea. Cool. <laughs> It's a tedious task, but hopefully it'll be worth it. <laughs>
Thanks for bringing my water, Critter. Nathan, jump! <laughs> Look at her. She's totally expecting me to nail her. Ready? <laughs> all right, so we got the electrical all hooked up down here. Up here, zip tied it here and here. Then put it through here and screw it all off here. Is the color a big deal? Yeah, it matters a bit. That's why this one's all red. We had to make sure we keep track of colors yep. because the other um, electrical wire didn't. Ma the other, this one that came from the manufacturer didn't match this one because we needed extra to make it up to the solar controller. Mm -hmm. That's what this is. This is a controller. Right. This whole system is by RPS. We're ready to close this down now and uh, working on actually putting the racks and the panels up there. All right, Joshy, how we doing? Good. Where are we at? Well, we're making, we just got finished with this thing. It's where the solar panels go on like this and it can tilt this way and this way and stuff like that. Cool. Yeah, and it could twist that way. Yeah. And once we get it perfectly lined up with the sun and all that, then we'll lock it down good and tight. Yep. Right now we're just doing it hand tight. Mm-hmm. So we just need to get the frame. More of the frame up there and the panels. Yep. Cool. What do you think, Crater? It's cool. You like being up on a ladder? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got these racks on. Or the framing. Part of majority of the framing is on. Now the solar panels just go on top of this. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're lining up north-south. We want the panels going south facing. And what I did was I stuck this wooden post north-south. So then we'll use that wooden post to then line up our racks above. Alright, we have one whole array up. All these solar panels are secure, and all we have to do now is the tilt, and that's a good day's work. My boys did awesome work with me. They denied themselves and helped with this project. Very proud of them. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and for those of you that have been following us for a while, you know that this well is a long time in the work. And we got a lot of it done yesterday, huh? Yep. And <clears throat> Lord willing, we will have it done today. We just don't have enough time on this video to capture it all for you. But of course, we'll go, we will get video of it. Remember guys, we have the Facebook group. It's called Thousands of Roots Homestead. And over there, you can comment and interact with other like-minded people. And we share our videos there so you can comment on our videos there since you can't comment on YouTube. We have a chicken ruckus going on. Joshy, there's a chicken ruckus going on. Yep. And we pray blessing over you and yours, and whatever you do, do it with your whole heart. Yeah, that. Crazy hair don't care. Where's the hug? Go on, you get the big queen. She was trying so hard to put this cute little baby doll outfit on, huh? But it just doesn't fit. You're too big. You're not a baby doll anymore. In the process, she did a number on her hair. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs>